NBA 2K23 wish list. Before we get into the details of my list, I want to let you guys know I don't have any words for my team, my NBA, or my WNBA. I don't play those modes, so I don't have any input for them. But if you guys have any suggestions, make sure you comment them down below. So first, let's start with my career slash my park slash rec slash whatever you want to call it. The number one thing I wanted to mention about this is please bring back the legend grind also bring back seasons but you have to add the legend grind to that as a youtuber and a gamer myself i felt like hitting legend was way too easy and this was my first 2k ever hitting legend the best part about the old method was it was very rare to see somebody hit legend and when they did everybody was interested to see what the prize was now with everybody hitting 40 nobody cares about that shit. so please bring back the legend grind but keep season two before we move on to the next topic i wanted to show you guys this tweet from this guy named kevin Linquist. he said seasons should go through everything even my career included and rep only for online play i love this idea right here so i had to include it in the video number two we have to change the setting of the wreck now I know, I know, playing in a gym with that little ass crowd, that's usually how it goes with rec games, well some rec games, but if you actually seen like a pro-am game or some shit in real life, like Ball's Life or something like that, you will see packed out crowds in different types of stadiums and outdoors. I feel like 2K should just change the way the rec looks. So an idea is they can keep the gym, they can add like some outdoor sceneries, like add a cage or add a beach setting or something like that you feel me and with a different map every game i feel like that'll keep the players intrigued and want to play more games they could probably even add a vote to skip option like call of duty does for the multiplayer modes number three keep the aggressive dunk on next gen it really is a skill gap having to do that for alley-oops and dunking on people now i ain't gonna lie as I learned the dunk meter, it really is cheese. So I won't be surprised if they nerf it in 23. But overall, please keep it. And lastly, before I get to playing out online, I have a gameplay suggestion. I feel like the crab, I don't know. Like it has to be nerfed to a certain extent. You feel me? Like other than Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, and some other sharpshooters in the league, nobody is really pulling like that with somebody on their back and it counts as a no contest. Now, if the person's mob player has blinders, that's okay. But for somebody to get a crab and shoot with somebody right on their back and it says no contest, that sh is not okay. So please 2K, for 2K23, please, please, please nerf crabbing. A lot of the players out there not gonna like that, but I had to say, we're on to the play now online section. So first and foremost, before I even get into the actual mode, 2K, Please add back the play with friends lobby in next gen. Y'all put it in current gen for 22. But for next gen, you guys have us do this weird ass method where we gotta go to quick play. We gotta click R3. We gotta invite our friends list. We can't even see what we're choosing. We have to make all our settings and our options. Like, no. That's too much. Just bring back the play with friends lobby. Like a lot of us wanna play all-star team up with our friends. So please, please, please. Bring back the play with friends lobby. Also for all-star team up, it's just show like Rec does. It's just show people's grades. It's just show the fluctuations when you do something good and bad. And if the other team quits, the game should end. I should not have to stay in the game with all computer players. It makes no sense. You know how on Rec when the other team quits and it just goes right back to the pregame lobby? It should be like that with player control and all-star team up. And lastly, for all-star team up, please make the timeout shorter. 20 seconds or less. When it comes down to a full time out, we have people not pressing X and it's making everybody wait. A lot of people are impatient. They just want to play the game. They're not on the game just to sit through a whole time out. A minute is a long ass time when you're just sitting there doing nothing. And then that leads to people quitting the game. They're going to give everybody that stupid ass message about how sportsmanship isn't show when you leave the game. Then you're going to time everybody out and that just causes people not to want to play the game. So please 2K, make the timeouts like make them like five seconds and give them only four timeouts per team having seven timeouts is crazy all right so i don't really have a long list for playing out online honestly because i made like two or three videos already explaining what 2k should do they're popping up on the screen right now but overall i'm gonna go over the ones that really really need a change in my eyes so first off 
please bring back the team selection screen like this new matchmaking system y'all made since 2k18 where you randomly match up with somebody it's not cool because it's been a lot of mirror matches nobody's trying to play the same team that they picked 2k so please bring back the team selection screen next we have the tiers i'm following it for matchup purposes but i feel like current teams should have their own tier then classic teams should have their own tier and then the all-time team should have their own tier not having current classic and all-time teams in one tier and doing that shit for three tiers and then the matchmaking gets even worse and it's just bad just stop that if you're gonna do tiers spread it out better if they keep tiers how it is right now please just bring back the option to where you can decide if you want to play people in other tiers i believe it was 2k18 where if you chose a tier 3 team, you can choose if you want to play against a tier 2 or a tier 1 team. And if you get that W, you either get more VC or more wins. I forget which one it is. If you remember, comment it down below. But that was lit. I missed that. So again, please change the shaping of the tiers. And if y'all don't, please just give us the option to play against other tiers. Y'all still do it anyway. Like the other day, I was using a tier 1 team. I got matched up with somebody in tier 3. I doubt he wanted to match up with a tier 1 team team but shit bro at least give him the option to if he can't match up with a tier three team just give him a longer wait time like come on bro the next thing i have to say is please renew the play now online season rewards my team gets it my career gets it i believe even in my WNBA gets it but not play now online what the fuck? it can be vc you can keep renewing the my team and my career stuff just please new rewards every season next this one is a little tricky i'm not sure how they would execute this but i don't know i feel like it's a good idea no more goat trophy i'm tired of grinding for the goat trophy let's switch it up this year please instead of the goat trophy i was thinking after a certain amount of wins you can unlock teams and players. I feel like it'll be more of a grind. It'll be more fun for people to do that. Real quick, let me elaborate on that idea. The person that's trying to unlock teams and players cannot use the same tier one team over and over and over and over again. They got to use teams in each tier to do this. So I just wanted to say that real quick so people don't think, ooh, I can just use the Bucks or the Lakers 24-7 hell no and please make it to where people can do it through player control and team control i notice how when you play player control sometimes the wins don't be counting i even had a subscriber tell me the player control wins only count through tier three on current gen that is dumb i believe it was 2k20 or 21 i forget which one where player control wins counted towards your wins for playing out online that's how it should always be. But if you quit, 2K ain't gonna hesitate to give you that L. So please fix that. But at the end of the day, we gotta remember 2K is a business. So here's the upside to that. If you guys give people the option to either grind for teams and players, you can also give them the option to buy those teams and players, specifically historic and all time players and teams, because ain't nobody trying to grind for the current teams. We should automatically get that off rip. Now, for the lower tier teams and players, you can like charge like what, 5,000, 10,000. And then for the upper ones, people will pay bread to get these teams and players. I know some of y'all probably watching, like, I ain't paying no fucking bread for that. Trust me. I've seen people in my comments say they will literally pay VC just to unlock teams and players instead of going through the whole grind. So 2K, that's an option for you right there if you want to make some extra cash. Just add a buying option and play now online. Next, please new historic teams <sighs> like i know i know it's hard for y'all to get the licenses for some players charles barkley reggie miller they're just being assholes they don't want to do it because they're not getting any compensation like bro just let us play with y'all pause why are y'all being so hard-headed about this y'all already millionaires just let us use y'all in 2k for free like what's going on bro you don't see any of these other legends complaining but yeah bro we need some new historic teams like michael jordan you somebody's go you're not my go but you somebody's go i got hella respect for you but 2k gotta get off your nutsack there's no reason why michael jordan should have six of his own historic teams and play now online or is it five it's five or six that's too many michael jordans just have two rookie michael jordan 
and I would say the 97 Jordan. Other than that, we gotta replace those other teams with some different ones. Hey, this is gonna sound crazy, but 2018 had a lot of good teams. So the 2018 Cavs, the 2018 Thunder, the 2018 Rockets, the 2018, who's I thinking about? Celtics. At this point, I'm done asking for the 2010 Lakers. Nobody know where the hell Andrew Bynum is. And without him, it's not the 2010 Lakers. So I don't want that team in there without him. The 2010 and Magic would prime the white. That would be a great team to add. If I didn't mention a team you're thinking about, just comment it down below. I didn't want to name every single team because I'm not trying to make this video mad long. So just comment it down below. Now for this last one, I really don't see 2K doing this because play now online is really for like chill players and stuff like that. Not really comp, but just for the fun of it, you guys should just add like a ranked mode. The current state of playing online definitely has a casual feeling. So if they added a ranked mode, I really feel like more pros and more comp people would play it. But some ideas for the ranked mode is you can only use specific teams a certain amount of times. You cannot go below a certain win percentage or else you go down a tier and then it should just like be tiers. Like instead of unlocking teams in certain tiers, just make people get certain wins. Like you know how in unlimited i'm not sure if it's still like this but i remember back then you would have to go like 12 and 0 or some sh like you should do that for a rank mode i'm playing out online to either win a bunch of vc or win something i don't know i don't know yet i haven't figured out the details but if i do figure out something i'll let you guys know but for right now it's just you know i'm more on the fence about that but if you guys like that let me know but that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video of my wish list for 2k23 there's still hope for 2k like they do listen to the community but their execution is terrible so i do have hope for 2k23 but only this amount make sure you guys like the video it'll be greatly appreciated if you're new to the channel hit that big red subscribe button down below again make sure you comment your ideas please because the more people that comment the more my video will hit the algorithm and we can have a bunch of ideas flowing in and hopefully somebody will have the power enough to hit up 2k and show them the comments and as always stay wavy stay blessed wavy out